Hey, what is going on guys? It is the Alas Project here and uh, welcome to my first ever, eh, ever, attempt of a world conquest. And um, as most of you already know, we're going to be doing no other country than, no, not the United Kingdom, the neighbor on the other island. Yes, Ireland. Um... We will not be doing a historical AI focus because I kind of want to see the world just go mad. I need to check if all of these are reset. Yes, they are. And uh, uh, for this Let's Play, I'm going to be using two mods. The first one being the custom national focus tree for Ireland. And the second one being the 30% additional manpower uh, from non-core territories. Um, without which I would probably fail miserably, and I doubt anyone would be able to do it. I don't know, maybe Marco Antonio probably would. But most of you voted and said that you want to see a communist Ireland Let's Play, because there wasn't uh, one of that kind. There was a fascist one, but not a communist one. So, I will grant you your wish, and uh, as you can see, we have the complete brand spanking new Irish national focus tree. So first of all, we gotta do the Constitution of Ireland. And, uh, well, first things first, we are not gonna be prioritizing, no, uh, inf uh, not infantry, industry straight away. We need our uh, troops straight away. We're gonna be focusing Marines uh, at the start, like very, very much. Uh, also artillery. Now, uh, I'm going to be producing mainly weapon factories, and I'll build one civilian factory. Now, I need to check, because usually I would go down the uh, national corporate, then, uh, okay, we go with this, uh, which will give me 5% recruitable population, whether I go... Uh, communist or fascist, so that's great. Um, and I also get military youth, I th think. Yes. I? Okay, yeah. I'll get the manpower regardless, which is great. Um, I will not get the division training time, though, uh, but I will get the division recovery rate. So I kind of screwed you over, guys, because um, you kind of wanted to see a communist let's play because of lack of manpower, but again, through this um, tech tree, or not tech tree, national focus tree, I get manpower regardless of do I do Irish Worker League or National Corporate Party. Also, you may catch me trying to do a freaking Irish impression or whatever, but this is more Scottish. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm ridiculous. Anyway, let's start the time, and uh, I'll transform these guys into Marines later. So, as of now, we just have to wait. So, my plan is to obviously conquer the whole world. Now, the first target that will have the most issue with uh, is Portugal. Portugal is the only neutral country, really, that we can attack without the United Kingdom going, Oh no, you can't do that. And the uh, second country, which is kind of ironic, is going to be the United Kingdom. So, yeah, we're not going to be wasting all that much time. We're going to hit the Allies fast. So why the fuck is my game lagging so much on f speed 5? Maybe if I, yeah, if I don't move around. Um, but yeah, the country, the, the countries that we're going to take uh, first are the allied countries. Mainly because of manpower, I want India. I need India. Because India is going to be my main source of manpower. There we go. Okay, so we've finished Constitution of Ireland. Uh, we're gonna start drifting towards the communists as soon as we can, because we need better better laws. So we're gonna do the first uh, things here, and after that we're gonna go the uh, industry thing. Things. I don't know why my game is lagging so much. I need to check if I have anything open because this is kind of it's kind of weird. Haven't really had the game lag all that much on Speed 5 this early on. So I will quickly... Nope, everything seems to be closed. Close this. Oh, there goes the Spanish Civil War. I could hear it from the desktop. Sorry for the black screen if you had one. But yeah, we're going to go with the First Amendment. And after that, we're going to start um, supporting the Communist Party of Ireland. 
Yeah. Mm. I don't know if this is actually... I don't know how strong the actual Communist Party was, because um, I know there was a Socialist Party. Not sure about the Communists, though. So, the first thing we're going to have here, we're going to put the Communist uh, Revolutionary, because we need to become Communist as soon as possible. After we finish the Irish Worker League, we're going to be going for the Coal and Cattle Pact, and um, the Magazine forts and uh, just the munitions. I'll probably finish these two as well. And after that we're gonna go for the marine and coastal service. We need to get destroyers up and running quite quickly. Marines, uh, invasion troops, everything. We need to be ready to invade uh, Portugal as soon as possible. That's a priority. So yeah, uh, this is gonna be a really fun let's play I think. And I really hope you guys are as hyped as I am. I've, I've done a test game as uh, the fascist Ireland, and uh, it wasn't all that bad. I've actually managed to take out both Portugal and the United Kingdom, but I haven't gone past that. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Now, I hope that the um, opposite AI makes the Americans choose Republicans instead of uh, FDR again which would mean they would probably be reluctant to join the Allies, which is great for me, because I need to have America isolated and not getting geared up until I take out Canada, uh, India, and all that. Because my priority list is going to look something like this. Portugal, Allies, US, Germany, Russia. Okay? Well, those are the major countries, and then just fuck all, destroy all these. Um, but yeah, the major countries are going to be like Allies, US, Germany, Russia. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we have the Irish Worker League. We're going to go for the Coal and Cattle Pact. Which is hopefully going to get us... Uh, We've finished towed artillery and support weapons. Uh, and now we have to start um, our doctrine, because doctrine is very important here. And uh, start destroyers. Okay, we definitely need destroyers as soon as possible. We need destroyers too. And later on we will have enough uh, naval experience from the uh, this, because that gives us 25, this gives us 25 more, and this gives us 25 more, so that's going to be 75 in total. And we'll, we'll be able to upgrade uh, those destroyers a bit, just so they are uh, capable of patrolling this area when we try to cross from Dublin to Liverpool. Later on, obviously. So now we're waiting for uh, the... Oh, actually, we've res researched... Oh, yeah, never mind. There are they. We need to wait for Marines. Now, Marines are going to be our primary source of troops early on. Later on we can go with tanks and whatnot. Uh, but as for now, Ireland needs to have Marines, because Marines are the only way I can actually take out a country. Special Forces. Okay, we have our first factory, and we're gonna start producing uh, towed artillery quite quickly. We're gonna put four and three. Uh, I'm not gonna be uh, getting Actually, I might just get a steel early on, because I need that. Now, we've got marines. Okay. Now, no. Uh, the other thing I need is support equipment. We, we're we just falling behind quite, quite a bit. Uh, we're going to transform these guys in... Well, transform them into marines. And uh, start making some more because we need to start exercising troops. We're build, we'll build five and this guy can start exercising because we need military uh, experience or army experience so that we can later upgrade them. You probably noticed that I have some experience uh, with the early start because I yes I didn't go ill prepared into this but there's a still a chance I may fail miserably to invade Portugal, because Portugal is not an easy target, as many may think. They have, like, around 30 to 40 divisions. And, great, um, one thing that I was hoping for won't happen is that France wouldn't join the Allies, but, eh, oh well. I really thought that uh, the French would 
uh, make their own little fashionable checks, which they did in my test let's play, but, well, what can we do? They're going for a defensive focus, that's okay. Um, I don't care, I don't really care, because I'm going to let the Germans ruffle something first, so I won't have the issue of the French. So, yeah. Okay, we had the um, Olympics. Actually, yeah, uh, actually, when it comes to the German Reich, I may shortly join the um, the common turn. Uh, only so much that I can actually uh, take down the Reich with no problem, or just use the Russians as bait. And then uh, having the Russians depleted, I'll just leave the faction and turn sides and take them out. Which is great, which is great. But yes, early on I don't think I'm going to be joining the common turn because I don't want to drag the Soviets into a big war against the Allies, which would probably mean I would have to deal with America. They may screw things over for me. Quite, quite a bit. So yeah, now we really just desperately need more factories. We've built, like, ten artillery pieces. Yeah. Okay. We have communist deserters. Okay, well, that's okay, because we're gonna become communists soon. It's not gonna last very long. Though that, they do hit on our uh, manpower a bit. Okay. So we'll soon have more rifles. More and more rifles. You didn't give me even, like, one XP. Alright, now we're gonna go for engineers. And, uh, here we need to go for... Actually, let's go a bit for industry. Let's go for... Let's go for that. Uh, because... Okay. Marxist sympathies in the government. Whatever. Uh, we... I just went for the industry because once I do the focuses through marry the marine and coastal thing... Uh, I'll have the light cruise or submarine, submarine. Oh, oh, never mind. I thought I would get the bonuses. Never mind. We're gonna do the the first free open. Uh, the first open slot is probably gonna be uh, destroyer two. Okay. So right now we've turned to the Irish People's Union. This guy looks very, very interesting. James Larkin. I don't know anything about the guy. Uh, this is actually not the flag you're going to get with the um, Improved Ireland mod. Uh, the other one was a socialist flag, and I didn't really think it would fit the communists, so I just found some really nice looking map on Reddit. So I used it. So yeah, this is a map I've actually put in the game. This is not with the mod, I just like this one better. The other, the other one looked uh, like the Dipper uh, constellation, which is basically stars in the shape of a plow and a hand cart, I think. that I think that's what it symbolizes, like the workers. But uh, it wasn't very, very pretty, so it was blue. So, I don't know. I like the green color when it comes to the Irish, and also there's red, and it just looks better. So, yep. I did that. I did that. <clears throat> Okay, we have the IRA munitions. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna go for the extra research slot. I will really need it. We need more steel. I'll actually go for... Mm, should I go for... I'll probably go for tungsten instead. Though we won't, be, won't have to trade um, tungsten for a lot longer because... We are going to uh, have a shit ton of tungsten when we take Portugal. And that's a good thing because I want to spam artillery. We're going the doctrine, which is basically saying, in a nutshell, focuses on throwing shells, not men, because manpower is precious, bullets are cheap. All right, so we finish this. I'm going to get the military theorist because I really need him. So yeah, uh, what do you guys think? 
This is going to be a fun let's play. Leave it in the comments below because we're approaching the end of the first episode. And actually, I'm going to end it right here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I shall see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.